Cause if you wanna go then baby go on uh, Yeah Are we start is this is this oh. happening? Are we starting right? Did you just try and start the podcast there? <laughs> did, is that <laughs> what you that did? You Wait, sing? did people clap? Did everybody clap? <laughs> uh, no, I haven't clapped. I haven't clapped. Oh, clap, clap. <laughs> I'm sending a text right now. I need a. I need a. Eight. I need 30 seconds. Welcome to Joy Tactics, the podcast dedicated to all things joyful, joyous, and meeting as many celebrities as humanly possible. Hosted by Eric Rahill, Nate Veroni, and Jack Bensinger. Enjoy. Oh, it's that famous song. Are you looking up? What's that? If you wanna go, then baby go. Uh, cool, and we just got demonetized on YouTube uh, <laughs> for copyright purposes. Oh, awesome! In the first three sec- you you won't be able to buy your high chew pack now. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's gotta be a way to remonetize mm. once you get demonetized. Smart. Right. Whether well, you'd think so, right? But. The cards are stacked against us, as always. Yeah, to but sometimes shit. I'm counting cards. You didn't factor that one in. Oh, and my life is at an eight shit. count. The running count on my life is eight right now, and I'm about to double down oh. on myself. Every time we go to the casino, Jack, I need you to tell me. When we do play blackjack, I always need you to tell me what to do. I am doing things in but my how life interesting with gambling w- that I'm not telling you. I don't like to hear that. <laughs> and you'll and you're never gonna know but one day let's just say your car is gonna feel look a little different in your driveway one day the catalytic gonna converter have gone <laughs> <laughs> eric's got the catalytic converter on his hood uh, by the way yeah yeah I keep it on spoiler for people the, in need if you need that shit, take it. I don't need it that bad. I'll get a new one. Oh, I'll, go, I'll keep one take on that just shit. my person around town. I don't even keep it on my car anymore. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to rob I was you. on a, deep, uh, a subreddit. This was like right before I went to bed. I was like looking at this. And it was like, uh, people who worked in a casino, what's the like the darkest stories that you have? And it was bad. It was like a lot no. of people like, oh no, um, dying. I'll say dying and uh, hey, offing man. themselves after like putting like all their money down. That on, doesn't on happen. One. The, the, How come you could <laughs> off yourself just... in a good and a bad way? Because offing yourself, you know what I'm saying? Getting yourself offing off. yourself. That sounds like a British way to commit suicide. But it, I've offed myself. Off I've myself. I've off to myself. I'm off to myself. I'm off to off myself, wow. mate. No British fucking. No, but we're not going there on this. A British, episode, I don't okay? That's not what this one's about. <laughs> Has a British person ever done that? Let's investigate. Come back later. I'll just tell you, yeah, for sure. I'm perfect. <laughs> right, well, when they found out they lost the Revolutionary War, yeah, it was fucking. Oh, dude, J- Jonestown. <laughs> but then they regretted that when Brexit came. Because if you killed, right. if you had killed yourself, and you're a British ghost, and you see Brexit goes down, and you were, you're returning to the block party, <laughs> exclusive one island block party, hey, you regret yo. that probably. <coughs> get my we body back. back. Dig me up. Oh, give me a steak and I ale pie. I like Something like okay, that. so with regards well, to what we're speaking on today with the um because we're talking about gaming. Right. Casinos have games in them, right? Right. With random they number do. generators, right? <coughs> RNG. Mm-hmm. RNG is That's right. a video game term. Well, but we're talking more about um, classically console games, okay? Nintendo, Super Nintendo, PlayStation, PlayStation Two, Dream, Dream, Dreamcast, Dreamcast Sega Genesis, we, uh, GameCube, we, the Wii U. Remember the Wii U? That was pathetic. They the thought, Wii is not. They right thought, thought, what is that? They thought they I'm did sorry. some. No, no. I mean the was Wii U. Was it a U. school? Was it a university? I'm genuinely, unfortunately, no, Wii asking Wii U that. was kind of a precursor to the Switch. It was a, okay. it was the console after the Wii. It had a little screen on it. You don't remember this? Wii. I don't. Uh, and I do. I have to. I have to. I'm about to make some enemies. If you are pl- uh, over 30 and you play Nintendo like that, get a, bro. <laughs> get a grip. <laughs> that is for babies. Be there, a 64. You should be playing sort of. Um, 
you should be playing uh, Heart, Heart, Hearts of Iron, whatever the World War Two simulators. Mm. You should be playing uh, Sekiro, <laughs> all the From Software games. That's for adults, okay? Oh, right, you should be right, playing right. Um, uh, Armored Core, Rubicon. You should be playing. There's many games out there for adults. See Yoshi, Princess Peach, the other ones, Luigi, Wario. That's all for children, okay? If you're still rocking with that shit and you're an adult, get a grip. Eric, <laughs> can I say something that might be hard for you to hear, brother? What's that? It, it's okay to let go sometimes of this masculine shell that you put on. Because I know you I got the beard you. transplant. I know you're doing <laughs> dangerous amounts of creatine. And you're <laughs> renting cars that you can't afford to rent. Uh, no, but I don't know what you you're can, saying. You I don't know can, what I'm talking about. But, you're, I, I just know that you're hiding a bunch of you have a shrine to like Princess Peach and Mario and shit like no I would never it's, it's, it's like in Rockwell okay Grass or or the or Daisy the hot one either Daisy no, never. <laughs> Daisy comes up to you oh, at the Daisy. bar Daisy hello oh, ma'am what are you drinking I'm drinking the well she'd be about one inch tall that's how big they are on them damn screens <laughs> you don't think they'd be more big in real life um, <clears throat> no, maybe if well, they until, were until you give them that mushroom. Oh, hey, hey man, then, which oh, one, dude? Which stop? Hey. Uh, stop. I'll let you decide. Why do I? Oh, let why you do decide. I think behave? See, you'd be you're the Will Smith hitch guy of the gamer world. <laughs> mm-hmm. <clears throat> I feel like you'd be reverse engineering those mushrooms. You know what I'm saying? To grow one particular part of yourself, Nate. <laughs> not to, In not that to type of Eric. way. You know what I'm saying? Not to, not larger, to. <laughs> larger erectile <laughs> thing. Fuck the pipes. Oh. Are you making the pipe? Go, <laughs> go into another dimension? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, there, there's no, dude, all right, gaming, dimension. the state of oh, gaming. Oh, putting your willy down the pipe and getting some coins <laughs> yeah, for you? Yeah, because you, you jump into the pipe, pipe and you go into another underworld, all right, 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 underwater. Right. You're putting it down there like an interdimensional periscope. Scope. But you're, yeah, yeah, you're fucking the Seeing the who takes world. a bite. The hot tub flashlight time machine, hot tub, you know what I'm saying here? Yeah, <laughs> <You're pretty laughs> much. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Interesting. Oh. Na, 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 na. All right. I was just talking with uh, I was just talking with my girl about kind of who we are in Joy Tactics University. Yeah, I think Eric, you're the historian. Jack, right. you're the maybe engineer innovator <laughs> nate you right. are sex ed you are <laughs> just yeah 100 percent. there's no question about that yeah uh wow Here so sex ed. <coughs> all right so e what's that thing you were talking about eric e e3 entertainment three the game oh this is like the gaming dude. uh conference it's over oh, by the way dude e3 is so over it's this over. is a big time for gamers, dude. I remember when I was really into gaming, when I wanted to be a gaming designer. Yes. Full sale. I wanted to be a video game designer, mm. and I was looking up full sale degrees. And I was just <laughs> dreaming of being in uh, Winter's Park, whatever, fucking Florida or whatever. And just being around all the other people who really gave a shit about games. You know what I'm saying? Right. We were all designing them together. None of this bullshit, this fucking run-of-the-mill, just fans of of. Video no, games. you want to be designing that shit and getting screamed at by someone with cystic acne. Yeah. Hey, man, don't <laughs> exactly. make fun of us. <laughs> okay. No, I got that shit. I got that but shit on like my But this is like our leg, Super Bowl. So. I don't, I don't. The E3. But what's coming out? Elden Ring. Bruh. Many the games Elden are coming Ring out. Pa- patch. I have something to say about Elden Ring, which I don't know if I have Well, should we let people know what, that, what Elden Ring is? Sure. If you, the if Elden Ring. You've been in a, under a damn rock. Well, most of our listeners are, you know, r- freaking neurotypical sports fan types. They don't know about FromSaw. Right. La da da. What did I say? La da da. This podcast is usually blasting from the golf cart. 
Right. You know what I'm saying? And they listen to this uh, so they can speak to their their weird cousins better. Exactly. Better. <laughs> <laughs> so they don't get murdered by their weird cousin when he finally yeah. snaps. Hey. But okay, so Elden Ring is a, I guess a, a fantasy role playing game. Uh, it's it's basically like you know. I don't know. What, what is the, the technical genre of, of Elden Ring? You kill shit. Go it's not a massively multiplayer on a online role-playing game. I don't really even know what that means. It's just a game. Whatever. It's like it's Zelda, just, just, but harder. It's like a dungeon. You know, you go into... You do all these quests. You know, you build up your armor. It's like a fantasy game, you know? And uh, what's the technical genre? I should know this. What, what is it? What the? F- Are you thinking... Uh... I don't know. Horror. The, the, Why, na- well, thriller. literally, we should thriller. know this. Well, oh, no, I'll tell you this. Thriller. I'll tell you this. The, the previous From Software games became so popular popular that they've developed a whole genre of them uh, to themselves. Right, They're right. They're called Souls like right. games. Souls like. Okay. Where? Oh, <laughs> oh wait, wait. You know wait I mean? Open world. It's the same thing. Open, open world. world. Sure, it's open world. Of course, with sandbox. With sure. event battles as well as area. Battles. Um, why are we talking about Elden Ring? <laughs> oh, because there's a new thingy on it. Well, I brought it up. It's there. Apparently, there's a new expansion of inspe- expansion pack. Um, that yeah, expands the world, I think, or something. But I, but I just wanted to talk about it briefly because I know some of our listeners are are obsessed with that game and might have they are to it. And I just bleak- want to. What do they call them? But me, all of, all three of us played it. Of course. When it and came yet, out. And two that of was us, two years ago, right? Three of us go that into was... the Elden Ring woods. Only one returns. Mm-hmm. Three men go into the woods in the lands right. between. Only well, I got distracted by, re- by some real books and literature. That's why I couldn't fucking <laughs> beat it. Okay? Well, Not because yeah, it was but... too hard and I couldn't beat that guy that was sitting on that fat ox. You read, these, the Golden City. you read these far-right <coughs> political books as a joke, dude, but I just think you need to be careful. Because it starts to leak in whether you like it or not. Uh, no, no, I, no. I'm, I'm reading Busted Sci-Fi Falls on here. Yeah, no, yeah, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> but, the, but listen. But what I, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. No, no. All right, all right, all right. All right. The, but Elden Ring came out like two years ago, and, I, and I'm not kidding. That game ruined i think i'm still i i think i'm maybe i just now recovered Whoa. from the post elden ring like haze that i was because that game i haven't played a game like that since i was in high school like been obsessed with it thinking about it all day couldn't stop it all day and i didn't even fucking beat it dude i was like I was playing it for months, every day, like hours and hours, and I was like, yeah. "What happened?" And it it totally what were ruined you doing, Nate? A whole year. But what? How did you? I don't not... know, dude. I was trying to. Fu- it's hard, dude. It's a hard <laughs> game. What do you mean? What did I do? It is I was Jack. Fuck- Yo, it's, it's the hardest hard. game that's ever been. I'm playing these fucking uh, uh, Legend of Zelda, man. I'm playing games for kids, dude. Dude, I'm not even a gamer. And I, have and a, I roasted game. that shit thrice, and you know how. What do you mean you're not a gamer, dude? You're you're the ultimate Brother, gamer. Brother, I never played none of these games that y'all are playing. I never played. I played Tony Hawk. I played Skate 3. And I've played hundreds of thousands of hours and all that. I played Halo, hundreds of thousands of hours. RuneScape, hundreds of thousands of hours. But gaming, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, did you get this new game? I don't game like that. But y'all right. convinced well, me to get are... Elden Ring. You tricked me. But I'll well, say I, this. this is what... I'll say this. Go, you might have been able to beat that game, but you could never defeat Reading the Hobbit. Why would you say that? Man? <laughs> I could listen to it. I could listen true. to it. True. That's true. That's true. But listen, and I, I'm sorry to have gotten down on you like that, but I just feel sort of defensive right okay, now. Okay, man. I know that it's you... clear that Nate and I really tried, and you came over and beat that ox for me. But here's the thing, and that advanced <laughs> me in the game. But I didn't even care after that because I know I didn't actually get. I Wait, you had to enlist Jack like on Jack had to him. help me beat one of these damn uh, guards. It wasn't even a boss. A guy on a horse. Just one of these damn guy on a horse. <laughs> he's no, he's blocking the capital city, and he's quite difficult yeah, to right. defeat. He's but quite what's funny difficult. is, no, the truth is, the truth is, guys, that you both are farther along in the game than I am. If you're listening wow. to God, because I cheated 
crazy. The whole I, know, I cheated too. It. I cheated too. Did you cheese that shit? I cheesed. I fucking. I gruyered it. I my parmesan did. I pecorino romano <laughs> that shit. I did every cheat I could find to just get through it the first yeah. time. But then I Man, went back. Gaming and did it. is so. You know. You know my. You know my PS5 is not with me right now. Okay. It's being we're praying current. for you. So sorry, it's bro. being just, driven just out here praying. from New York, and I'm gonna go see it. Uh, in about 10 days and then i'll drive it back here from dallas but um i miss it i miss that type of gaming turning that no thing shit. on yeah and going going crazy with the controller in my hand it just feels so good you know what i mean so many good games i've played throughout my life and i can't even remember them all someone asked me the other day what's your favorite game i can barely remember what i played but i know i've had an amazing time okay Oh, I actually had a uh, found from my fan fiction uh, days. There was like on my profile, it says top 10 video games. And I listed it out when I was like 13. What were they? Should I, uh, let me look it, it up real quick as you guys. And then may I just, discuss. while you're Googling that, uh, I mean, that, yeah, I don't know. I was kind of moved by that monologue that Eric, you just made up on the spot. And I think this needs to be a little yeah, welcome for anybody applying to Juilliard or RISD or whatever right now. Right. That video game monologue. That was I think sick. so. Well, I'm looking. I just typed I in top games. And I'm like, yeah, I've played just about every single one of these. Red Dead Redemption, of course, one and two. Cried at both. Legend of Zelda. Yeah, I didn't love it. It just says Whoa. Zelda has never clicked with me. I hate to Are say. Are you it kidding like me? That. What I, about the I get Goron? into it for a little bit, but I. C- no, I know it's. I feel like I'm gonna offend some people with that, but it's just it ain't my shit. Okay. Oh, the Legends of it. the Ocarina what? of Time, Eric, with the tunics and everything. None of that got you. I mean, that's cla- That was a class. That classically was my kind of fourth grade Elden Ring. You know, I yeah. couldn't beat that shit. And you it rocked was so it, hard. Right? Oh no, you didn't. Oh man. <laughs> nah, I couldn't. All right, I check couldn't. this shit out. This is the this is the elite gaming uh, top ten list. This Let's is the hear type it. of shit I was I wasn't on the I wasn't playing around playing games. This is 2004. Okay, We're it says Iraq. yo. This is my bio. Dot dot dot. Um, here it is. Top ten <laughs> video games. <laughs> Not Wait, really this, in any specific order. This is for what? This is just your online. This journal? is this is my uh, fanfiction.net. Um, bio like profile got you what is that? just so people can get to know me after they so i think we're burying the, what were you writing story. fan fiction for I, don't, I think we have <laughs> legend of zelda we've already talked <laughs> oh, about oh right, right right so they can get to know me a little bit more after they've read my right. stories about the dark triforce that i and, oh right, 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 how could i forget i'm sorry did people say that that existed anyways when we, all right so I think I think it did exist. People were kind of roasting me. They, they said that Dark Link exists, but I'm I'm yeah. pretty sure I invented that. So, yeah. anyways, number one, and this is not in any specific order. That's why I say, number one, Final Fantasy VII. Oh, that's a classic. Number two, Metal Metal Gear Solid series. Number three, Final Fantasy X. Never number it. three, SOCOM Two Online. Number five, in the ghillie suits. Yep. Kingdom Damn. Hearts. Number six. Amazing. Crash Bandicoot 2. Number seven. Super Mario Bros. 3. Wow. With the raccoon suit. Fucking nice. Number eight. The Legend of Zelda series. Number nine. Metroid series. Number ten. Sonic series. Damn. Hey, okay. Nate. Yeah. I didn't realize you were real like that. And then I also have my top five animes as well. <laughs> I didn't know you were like this, Nate. A little <laughs> yeah. bit. Yeah. It's kind of <sighs> sick. What was the top five animes? Number one, DBZ slash GT. Of course, man. Number two, Inuyasha. Number three, Gundam series. Number three, Rurouni Kenshin. Rurouni Kenshin. Number Kenshin. five, exactly. Yu Hakusho. Yu Hakusho. Number six, yeah. Shaman King. And then number seven, it said, I know I went over five, but who gives a flying fuck? And no, this is not an anime series. <laughs> you, so, you know, I was having fun with it, too, back then. You were you know, like, I, like I do now. I Dude, like gaming... Now. Mm. Gaming. Mm. Mm. After a long. I remember day. some of my best memories. This is one of my best memories. Okay, there's not nothing even funny about this. I would go to swim team practice. I hated it. I was the slowest one. Okay. And th- this is during the summers. My mom would drive me. <clears throat> then I I would walk back from the pool. I'd get home. It's like 10:30 in the morning. I eat cream of wheat with some brown sugar. Yuck. Mm. And then. Um, I just have a, such a vivid memory of getting my PS2 and playing ATV Off-Road Fury. 
mm. and just sending that <laughs> shit, doing the Jesus, like a, the crazy mm. tricks on the ATVs, taking that disc out, putting in Jack Jack's Jack and Daxter. Remember yeah, that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. probably. I uh, do. You guys think video games have lost some of their charm with the graphics? Hundred percent. Are you kidding me? Have we lost yeah, some of, of the charm? Of course they did. Because look back. I was just Google imaging some games last night just to see what it felt like. Sonic Adventure Battle 2. Anybody? Chrono Trigger. How about oh, Banjo Kazooie yeah. when you really look at the Google Oh, image. oh how about y'all remember Gauntlet Legends? <clears throat> Can I get a Of course Gauntlet this? Legends. That, so was, that was so was majestic to too. me because you couldn't at, at the, when it first came out it was only arcade, right? Right. Or may, I was like this is and I was like this is so fancy. Uh I wish I could play this in my house. You know what I mean? And then and then you, you could. could. And what was beautiful about it is it was your friends, it was very communal. You would come over being the physically the same space and yet you would all together transcend. Valkyrie is about to die. The jackal has eaten the purple coin. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. We don't have shit like that. And yet Hey, here's probably my favorite. What? This might be my favorite video game memory of my life. And I'll give you a hint. What? You two are in it. When it was early pandemic lockdown and Travis Scott put on the Fortnite, Fortnite. concert. Oh, my God. We pulled oh God. up as the banana and the chick. I know. I feel like we've that talked about this, but it, it literally, it, I was off the mezcals because I was drinking liquor during that period of my life like that. <laughs> Just then you were drinking. <laughs> to excess. Uh, <laughs> All right. That so. was so amazing. God. What makes a perfect video game? Well, Is that what I want to go about? back. Well, we're kind of going... I was thinking this one could be more games from our childhood. Okay. Oh, okay. Games from growing up. We can, oh, we sorry, can talk Eric. About we were just <laughs> talking about fucking just going off a little bit on a tangent. Sorry, man. Do you guys remember this video game, One Must Fall? It no. was on no. PC. Never it was heard like of that before shit. we had a console, my dad got this for us. I wonder if any of the listeners remember this game. It was called One Must Fall 2097. And you play these like giant mechs that are... Uh, fighting each other oh my god i haven't thought about this game in years okay and there's not much more that needs to be said about it but if, if you can find an emulator of it and play it it was i remember it being pretty fun when i was about seven years old wait is that by the people who did going on man nate did you do you ever play did everybody play that no i never even heard of that going, going on, on man going on man you want to ask me what it is what is it <laughs> full sentence what is going on, is man? Gun- well, not not gun much, on, brother. Man. How are you doing today? Oh, oh, God. Are you... You know, dude, if you trick people enough like that for a long enough period of time, you're going to lose all the trust that you have. So uh, be it, man. You've heard of the boy who cried wolf, Yeah, right? right? You've heard of that parable and story, right? What if, <laughs> what if I'm a boy in wolf's clothes? What if I'm a wolf in boy's clothing? See what I'm Sheep saying? Sheep in wolf's clothes? I am Sheep a wolf. Sheep in wolf's clothes? I was born to lose trust. <laughs> it's a game uh, to you isn't it getting losing trust and building it back that's just a game to you isn't it that a is PS3 right PS3 game yeah league yeah <laughs> anyways sorry okay let's go through some of the top game franchises this is what the what everybody wants to hear about Mass Effect what's that you guys never played Mass Effect I've never played. I, think I, I, I don't played think I've played a single game. You're that's kidding been me! Yet. Oh my Nate, god! Nate never played a one okay. of those games on that list, except for maybe one of them. Resident I'm Evil sad. Four. I'm starting to get sad. What's that? Resident Zombies? Evil Four. Oh my god! I, well, you know the. I'm getting disturbed game, that you guys aren't hopping on the saying yo yo. Well, I, of course I played fucking Resident Evil. All right. Bioshock. I've heard these Bio words shock. before. Of course I've heard these words. I'm cultured, but I don't. I never. These are like prestige games, like like video games are trying to be. Okay, one, the uh, they're the video games are doing the thing that's like that movies are doing, where they're trying to remake Last Final Fantasy us. VII like oh. three times or something. Like, yeah, it just. Uh, I think we're in, we're we're just culturally. 
at a we, point where we just can't come up with new. You new think we're things. in the dark ages creatively because of what phones I think, and media well, do to our brains? I think, can I say I that? So. Can wow. I name this era? Yeah, of course. We are in an age of media <clears throat> fear. We are in an age of creative doubt as a race, uh, as a species, rather. <laughs> Yeah, as and a human we, race, right. As a human race, not as <laughs> right, chill. But what I'm saying is people can't people have enjoyed so much what has been done in our lives. You see the Titanic, you go, James Cameron's watching you know, he watches back Titanic and goes, Good God, how the fuck did I do that shit? That probably wasn't <laughs> even me. I can't never do that shit again. And right. then, and then in humanity we're saying, Well then let's remake it, let's do this. But we have to learn from James Cameron and say, Fuck it, I'm gonna sink twenty years into making underwater avatar and just try again, mm-hmm. man. Just try, because you can do it. That's what I want to tell you. You can't people. get the magic back though, not from the The not magic from that is there. Movie. You can always the fire is never gone, it just needs to be relit. Okay? Fire will always exist in potentiality of energy. Oh. Fire is a we need to set a fire element. a blaze amongst the children. I think because guess what? We're our generation is a lost cause. Who's who's a young director right now? Thirty years old, uh, er, area of age that's crushing. Me, oh, um. name name somebody. I'll wait. Name one. I'll wait. <laughs> who's the next? Uh, it's the, you in know America. In America, no, I can't. Right in America, but if you're talking Italian, yeah, Italy, and all the rest, Italy. yeah. There's plenty, sure. Yeah, plenty. <laughs> but American media is crumbling. The older generations are giving nothing to the young. And film and TV and video games are suffering because of that. Give us a fucking chance to all the boomers listening to this shit that are in positions of power. Give the younger generations a chance now. Give us a chance, or, man. I just, yeah, agree. Oh, you said just give us a chance. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I just, yeah, I agree. Because they're going to die soon, man. So what they need to know is one way or another, and that's hard to hear, but one way or another, if whether you give us that bag or mm-hmm. whether we have to take that bag out of your cold dead Violently hands. Violently with bat, bats with nails in them. Mm, <laughs> maybe just natural causes na- version of na- bats and nails. But I know, I know someone from my high school that was... I think I told you guys. We, yeah, 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 yeah. Killed that one. Yeah, that's a little personal. But what um, else? What <laughs> else? Oh, Joe Biden. You know what I'm reminded or, of? Yeah. What? Is the 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 I guess the notion. I mean, we're 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 talking about notions lately. Shit. Right. Here we go. The notion of Jack is <laughs> Jack's getting prepared. <laughs> I'm re- getting ready to receive this sentence and analyze it. <laughs> the notion of world building. Wow. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Which could be a whole other fucking topic. Oh, world building. World building, world though, building, by the way, is a gift. It's not something that you can learn. Okay. Right. No one can teach you world building. Us creatives who were bullied our entire childhoods and lived in prison, our, our bodies were more like prisons because of the weight and the, and the lack of coordination. <laughs> we were forced to build worlds in our minds, okay? Beautiful right. worlds, lush worlds, desert worlds, space worlds, fantasy worlds, sexual worlds, Chill. okay? Mm-hmm. And to all you account managers out there, who who have the the sea gutters? You know what I'm talking about. And you got the eight packs, and you eat fucking sweet green every day, and you have over three hundred thousand dollars. You will never know how to world build like we learned how to. You could like we never come up with the with the with the concept of a Italian plumber who hates turtles. You know what I'm saying? That is not <laughs> right. your right. That is not even close. Imagine being in the mind of that guy of. who created that. You wouldn't want to for a second because it's so horrible in there. You know what I mean? Japanese. Well, mm-hmm. right. Right. And you know what all these games have in common? There is just one singular vision. Probably it, it, mo- mo- most of the time it's a Japanese guy. Okay? <laughs> Psychotic Japanese fella. Yeah, right. Who's thinking, of this, thinking up this shit. Right. So shout out to all those Japanese males out there that are just putting mm. it down. That are just. Who were. Supported by females and probably stealing from them. 
That's what I was going to say. <laughs> stealing from the women, I'm sure the Japanese women. Also. Well, if you go and look at ancient Japanese so, female art, you will see cave cave sculptures of little Goombas and Mario figures. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> Jack. Jack, I feel like you you have a little closet that's all ja- what, ancient man? Japanese female art. Let me look in my closet right now. Glock, I got a 47 in there. I got a sawed off, I got MP5. Yeah. Oh, Imagine. remember the woman from Neon Genesis? Evangelion? Why do I remember her? Remember, well, because she was one of the the most baddest baddies of all time from animation history. Okay, remember her? And then the kid. Of course I do. That's a, a fucking decal on my huh? Toyota Prius right now, man. <laughs> 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 Oh my God! I will just say That's shout funny. out to her. Shout out to her for leading those kids through operating those mechs that saved the planet. Yeah, good for her. Um. So. So where's this all headed? Wait. Oh. Oh. Speaking of world oh, building, sorry. if we could pick, if you could pick one world, one oh, video game oh, world to fuck, transport yeah. to and live in for the rest of your days, what would it be, sir? And w- yeah, what, a, what would you say it would be? Crazy sir? ass, mm-hmm. amazing question. I guess it'd be one where my friends and family were. Otherwise, I don't know how I would deal with it. No, th- you don't get to see them. You, you go in and it's all gone. Okay. I, uh, that sounds pretty tough. And you have to make new friends. Yep. A new family. Would all right. Honestly, I would probably go. You know what? You you mentioned this game, but uh. Chrono Trigger, that that dude. World I just where you got the frog friend. You have the frog. Wait, do you know that it? I just downloaded it yesterday and started playing it? No way. On it's my so MacBook. Fun. On my MacBook. What's this? I gotta emulate frog. It. What's it called? Chrono and the art was done Trigger. by Akira Toriyama. Yeah, yep. Yeah, the character oh design was crazy. The video, the game uh, dynamics and <laughs> design was incredible. It was just a, a melding of. Final Fantasy and Dragon Ball Z, basically, which is the two most probably bussing worlds on on the planet. Two the two most bussing minds. I don't know who does the final Square SquareSoft Square Enix. Back then, SquareSoft. This is a pretty game that I've just Google imaged. Chrono Trigger. Oh, that looks yep. co- that looks very relaxing. Google imaging it. We need to go to a cosplay convention and dress up. Of course. Up. Dress up as Joy Tactics. Some of these characters. <laughs> I'll dress up as Nate. <laughs> well, the easy I wonder word. if anybody will ever cosplay as, <laughs> as us. So, yeah. man. Well, once the anime Curious. universe, Joy Tactics anime universe comes out, then yeah. They will. Now, the easy uh, world like to live in, if I'm. Go, go, go. If I'm Animal in. Crossing, you freak. No. I don't need. I don't need. I don't do streets. Where I'm about to say, I'm assuming there were streets in that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. RuneScape world, duh. They got the wow. beach. They got the bar. They got the motherfucking houses all over the place. They got the woods. And the, uh, go there camping. are sort of ma- ale maids. Oh, there's hella sort of beer. The, the male there's version cocktails, of maids, dude. Right? There's cocktail shakers. <laughs> there's pineapples you can put in a cocktail shaker with a coconut. Uh huh. And the gnomes, and are there by the way, are serving lads? you it up. Oh, oh the, the stra- sexual gnomes? Yes, and you can change your gender and haircut <laughs> for five bucks or something. It's like nuts. Wow. Yo, who, what are you heaven. up to today? Not much. I'm a chick and I'm chilling with some gnomes on, from gliding through the air or something. I wonder if we'll... Have you seen Lucas Antangelo on there? You know what? I haven't, and that's very disappointing. We've told this story right. on the podcast, right? How in, in the in RuneScape in the pandemic when we were all trying to find something to play, we met an amazing British YouTuber named Luca Santangelo. He does lifestyle and, he and us, male hair hair. He does advice. male hair videos, and he just found us, and we became friends. We started following each other on Instagram, and I think we're all gonna hang out next year. There's no question. He's about British. It. We're gonna get Let's go to his house. Faded. No Let November. me ask you guys a question to the listeners. What? Do you guys want can't. us to come to London or what? Oh, Cause they're it, begging for it. Uh, they're be- <clears throat> and I I don't want to put just. We might be coming to London. 
that's at some that's point. all we'll say, that's all we can <laughs> say right can now. Say right and now. I want to see a lot oh. of Americans in that crowd. That's all I want to say too. <laughs> no British people, people allowed, live. just expats. Right. Yo, if we could get it everybody to get the expats. same flight, <laughs> let's and fill the one flight. Why we're going? Yeah. Well, you you know where the Star Wars uh, shit is filmed, right? No. <laughs> I'll just say that you know Lucasfilm Studios are there. That's where they've no in London town, dude. Eric is playing R two D two, being <laughs> stuffed into a like three foot. <laughs> They're really stuffing him in there too. Like, oh, you're saying that you're gonna be in Star Wars? <clears throat> Do you guys know Rats. about that guy that was killed by being stuffed into a suitcase alive, and he just died in there? No, Jesus. I don't know anything about Imagine that. Imagine that. <laughs> yeah, I know what that is. Stuffed in a stuffed in People a damn ass. Oh, I saw somebody suitcase. reposted one of your vids, uh, Jack. What happened? On a, a, a meme account, and it got crazy no. amounts. Tell of me likes. that. Was, that you was, see this? Who? 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 Oh, boy, they where? didn't. They didn't tag. Where? You. Where? They didn't oh, tag where? You. Shit. They never All do. I'll say is, I'll say this number: thirty-two thousand likes. Oh my! Tell me on a carousel. What page is called? Is the first one. Tell me what page is remember, called so that dude. I can contact my attorney right now, <laughs> man. <laughs> because those are my likes because i can leverage these guys are just doing bullshit i need to use that as leverage so that i can get back on the bear dude well, i'm rocking the merch every day and they won't let me back on that shit oh oh nobody here uh, the listeners don't know yet but yeah jack's coming to town monday you realize that right Uh-oh. guess what's happening later in the week <laughs> guess where we'll be later this well. week <laughs> Yeah, we're going to be just just uh I'm just going to say that you're going to be seeing some Getty images of us that we're probably not supposed to be in. Red really? Carpet. Real No, no, that's, no, no. Hold Season on. Season 3. Is it really a red Premier. carpet event? I don't think Are you so. Serious, I think it's man? just a party. Yeah, right. With all the stars I and producers it's... that we're best friends with. Are they really going to be there? <laughs> I remember, dude. That's I do right. remember on the <laughs> on the picket lines during the WGA strike, SAG strike last year. Uh huh. When I would see like people who were doing very well, and I just remember some of the people from the Bay are being out there, kind of like walking around with them, and I guess feeling like a loser. And then I don't know why I brought this up. You don't ever need to feel I guess that way. because you don't ever need to feel like you're a loser. None <laughs> of us do. Well, I have this that's... problem. I could be surrounded by fucking hella Rosie Perez's and Lamborghinis and shit, right? Lamborghinis. S- Lamborghinis, 600 Lamborghinis and 600 Rosie Perez's from Pineapple Express all chilling with me. Let's just say <laughs> I'd still feel like a loser. What's wow. that? Well, oh, God. Because it's not God external. gave uh, all three of us. It's so curious because we have McLaren fucking engines up in, in here. All three of us. We have like McLaren engines and we all have sort of no Nate's fuel. 2013 Prius bodies. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's so Come interesting. On, dude. <laughs> Jesus. That's not no, but you can upgrade it. that shit. You can lift. You can you can lift that Prius and get it. Uh, uh, get the suspension all lifted up. Get that get shit lifted. all raised. You can get lifted. You can get. You can no, get man, body I want to get it right? scraping the but ground. But you can't change that Prius engine. It, it isn't configured for a different engine. You know what I'm saying? Like we have that top tier. You know, what I'm I don't know if I'm right. making this metaphor right. What do you I'm just saying, What do you like, mean by no, no, this I'm, in terms of getting back to the de- having? Um, I'm not sure what I'm saying by that. Oh, I'm saying... You're saying there's no cure. (laughs) There's no cure, but we're meant to be this way. There is a cure, brother. We're meant to be this way. What? Jack's reaching for something. Water. Oh, peels? Peels. Sertraline. Yellow. Mm. Banana sertraline peels. Yummy. The Laffy Taffy sertraline. Last night I took one of Nate's Zins and I didn't tell you. Well, I did tell you, Nate, that I was rocking me and I let everybody know that, but I had to almost sit down. Not kidding you. Pathetic. I had to almost sit down. Fucking pathetic. Yeah. Imagine telling that, that to fucking out. sitting at a table with Joe Rogan and Tucker Carlson <coughs> and some scientist who, whatever, has hairs. Mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck. 
But he and and they're all having like six hundred milligrams of fucking zen, and you're sitting there right. having a three. Do you ever? Yeah, that was this is a three too, Eric. Like, it's, a, it's it's just a three, dude. And it did that to you. What do you think's gonna happen <laughs> to you when you have a kid, man? How do you think that's gonna feel? Hilarious, pathetic. You mean when I have my kids, multiple seven. <laughs> right. Seven. Uh, mm-hmm. that are going to ruin you financially there's no Just question the i support. will be fucking killed by my youngest because <laughs> <laughs> they'll be about 20 years younger than their other siblings uh, this will be late in life and i'll be killed larry king style remember, remember? if i if, if i ever have uh <laughs> if i ever have a child support payments i'm paying extra I'm giving you a little oh, bit of tip. Shit. A lot of a lot of men, coward men out there. Oh, I gotta fucking pay uh, child support. Rick right. Ross was went out. Oh, I'm so glad I'm done with child support. <clears throat> that shit's going on for life. All right. If you're the mother of my child, I'm hooking you up past extra the illegal, fat. extra fat. Even when you get that. with the Alex Rodriguez type, that's what I'm giving you guys extra, <laughs> yeah, yeah. so you can go on, my, on vacation for helping raise my children. Oh my okay. god! <laughs> yeah, yeah. No problem. Get them, get them two PS fives. Get them three, whatever. Because Lord knows I'm going to be a distant father. Well, and I'm not going to. You have there. to be well, emotionally, be so dedicated physically, to the rather. Bear spinoff that you're on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Season sixteen of the Bear. And spin-off. by the way, the lessons. <laughs> this is a good point. The lessons that I can teach my kids through my work, because that's my preferred method of communication. That's how I'm comfortable being vulnerable right. and being right. ha- uh, having intimacy in my life as a creator, as a male creator, especially straight male creator. My stories is how I express myself. So my kids will learn more with me being absent through my media. That's what I'm saying. Right. Well, here's right. the thing. Yeah, does mental illness run in my family? Sure, it does. am i gonna pass on some type of mental illness to a child yeah through blood sure but i'm not gonna let my behavioral patterns influence that child as well so yeah i'll put that thing in the world give it all the money in the world hook it up with more famous people than it can imagine put it on the right track but i'm not chilling with it is it with those additional etc adam pally whatever Mm mm-hmm Mm-hmm. But I'm not chilling with that damn thing. <laughs> well, okay, because parenting... it'll become more like me, and no, nothing should be like like this. Is a fu- to live my <laughs> life. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is it entertaining? Sure. Is it going to make uh, some studios and networks millions of dollars? Sure, it will. Sure. But is it fun to live like this? No, it's fucking hell no. every second. Okay. Imagine no, cinder blocks no, no. getting dropped on your head every single day. Yeah. Right. Mentally. Well, what I was in the the. Parenting, there's a problem in the parenting world where people, parents want to be friends with their children. Nope. And as your father, I'm not your friend. Right. In fact, I'm probably your worst fucking enemy. <laughs> okay? If you're coming out of the world and you got uh-huh. my DNA and your yep. fucking bloodstream, you better run for the fucking hills. Master, you're going Master Splinter on them, but without any of the <laughs> gentleness. Yeah, yeah. Okay, or wisdom, <laughs> just really intense. Uh, oh, wow. man, if I have kids, I'm going to forget about them somewhere. You're going to leave them somewhere? Yeah. Do you guys think if we have kids, they'll be best friends? Or could you imagine that if we had kids and there was some beef? Settler in backyard, backyard beefs, I guess. Imagine this horror story, okay? Um, I have a daughter. Okay, Jack, you have a son. Nate, you didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> and they're, they're best friends. They fall in love at, at age 19. Can you imagine? Okay, is that a I nightmare? Like or actually, is that amazing? Oh, I thought you were going to say in like one of them kills the other. Or something. No, no. They fall in love. Oh, that's cool. Well, that's in cool. this scenario, right? I guess... Jack's son would have to, you know, you'd have to. Well, he'd have to act right. He'd be, surely have to. You'd act have to right be then my daughter, the, fa- the the father to boyfriend to daughter boyfriend uh, intimidation. Oh, you don't so want. How would you? You don't want a little JB. You don't want a little Ben Singer messing around with your daughter. I'll tell you right now. All I gotta say is check her <laughs> check her room in the middle of the night. You better put that thing, that window pretty high up. 
because he's got a young Ben Singer is going to have some romance uh, locked Dude. in his mind. <laughs> yeah, it's not, I'm Eric. getting uncomfortable. Run away with me. was clapping that shit. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> nah, don't say don't that say about, that about Eric's. My daughter. What this is. <laughs> Halsey, Halsey Ray Hill. <laughs> no, I've never had a girlfriend. No, I have. I have more uh, uh, about a couple dude <laughs> when was your first girlfriend no don't tell that don't tell that oh, don't tell that daisy people, when i was 18 years old freshman really of college. yeah immediately got one freshman of college at 18 yeah yeah Impressive. <laughs> freshman <of college. laughs> okay let's touch on a couple more video games please shall we because i know banjo kazooie dude knights of Remember the oh banjo kazooie yeah banjo kazooie this was one of the best Okay. The bear and the bird. And right? the witch. The bear and the, and the bird. And the evil witch and the honeycombs and the puzzle pieces. Yo hui. Do it again. I don't think I I don't think I know how, man. Remember when the bird started shooting them grenades in Banjo Tooie? I remember that. Like that? How you do that? You didn't play this shit, did you, Nate? You didn't have a Nintendo, did you guys? <laughs> are you ma- are you making fun of my family's socioeconomic <laughs> status right now? Because if so, that's pathetic, man. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I'm not, and I wouldn't make fun of that. But you guys didn't have a Nintendo, did you? We actually did have a, a Nintendo, but uh, we had a, an N64. But I had it late. I had it like when the GameCube was out. Got Fuck. you. Fuck. Yeah. So I was playing all. I had to like go back and play all these games remember blowing on the cartridges it's not working maybe dog hair i just don't know if i'll ever be able to play a video game like that there was a magic to playing video games when we were children well became so immersed in the world because the world your ability to perceive starts to hinder your ability to imagine you know look at the what do they call it the paris effect where you're visiting yep, somewhere, I know it. it's much more beautiful because you're visiting and mm-hmm. you're filling it in with your imagination. But as you get older, you start to create absolutes uh, and magic starts to not exist. You're actually losing the ability to feel magic. That's why you have to be taking psilocybin. You have to be taking acid and LSD. Otherwise, you're just going to lose your connection to the, to the Internet, frankly. You lose the ability to feel imagination and ecstasy. Ecstasy is a muscle. Okay, you Give, have an extacular my, my muscle. Some, giving my eight-year-old some DMT and making him play my old N64 games. <laughs> hooking up you intravenously, actually, hooking yourself up to your kid. Oh, oh wow! <laughs> no one's tried that, have they? A tube. Nope. Uh, exchanging blood uh, in real time while smoking DMT. Because blood holds memory. And blood. Moved. You guys joke. You guys joke about this scenario, but you know that the first time I ever did acid LSD, it was with your dad. Oh, I when know. I was, when I was a senior in high school, I played Super Mario Galaxy with my friends. Oh. And that shit was. Cr- that shit was. Was it so- crazy as hell? I remember like the sounds in that game were like yeah. a full body like or like it. W- it wasn't that crazy, but I was like the sounds in it that is the that is the game that you were put on earth to fucking do a psychedelic and play like that shit Mm. was fucking awesome and we watched um what's that mgmt music video we were all like going crazy like that they're really popular song electric feel yeah 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 electric feel we were all watching electric feel yeah or is, is, or is electric eel? I think it's feel. Shock me like electric feel. That's what they say? Shock me like it. They better not be saying that. Otherwise, they're going to have to join me on Duolingo English. <coughs> Let's Thanks, see. Nate. I'm going to play it for the... Play it first real quick. Just to okay. remind us. Ding. A li- full lyrical God. breakdown coming. Oh, and here comes the demonetization again. God. What does MGMT stand for? Management? Is that what they're... <laughs> mm-hmm. Is that what it stands for? Mm-hmm. I think it's like a shortening of management. That band is called Management? Are they a band or an electronic? I guess it, but it, no, it's MGMT. But. MGMT. 
Do you hear that? No. No. Oh, it's just for listening. What are they? What are they saying? They're, it's just the intro of the song, but it, it just is bringing me back to all the proms that I went to. I went to probably 16 different proms. <laughs> well, you shouldn't legally say about there. most of them. Age. Uh, um, what's well, prom? we all have right. to talk yeah. about the... Well, we're talking about retro gaming, the current state of gaming, and of course... I don't know why you guys always neglect this uh, topic, but the future of gaming. Where are we? Where is this all headed? And I want people to some say, would say that we might be in minutes. a game. Right well, now. have you seen a, the like the videos of uh, people modding Skyrim to include uh, ChatGPT? No. You've seen that, is it right? Scary? No, it well, makes me mad. Right. So well, people are having pretty way. good conversations with the NPCs up in that piece after they implant the chat GPT into the NPC's brains. And I just, I am looking forward to when I'm 86, my legs are the size of toothpicks, and my, but my top is like hella heavy and huge, and I can't fucking, you know what I mean? I'm bedridden, my children, and my children are off doing movies, and they're too successful to hang out with me. But I plug in whatever it is Skyrim and I talk to the barkeep in some fantastical <laughs> world snowy fantastical world dragons outside horrible uh, uh, you know horrible warfare well going this is on. the solution to ending male loneliness right no of course it is chatting with yourself. the reptilian uh, the lusty Argonian maid you know what I'm saying <laughs> lusty uh, Argonians that lusty Argonian maid. I'm listening. Argonian. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jack, you would get. I know you would get all fucking up in a lusty Argonian maid's business if you stop it, brother. If you were guys were rocking uh, with each other no, like no, that. No, I'm a gentleman. I take a lusty Argonian mm. out to a nice uh, screen porch. To Nobu. Gnocchi or something. <laughs> a screen porch and have some gnocchi. Yeah. <laughs> So I want remember when we when, remember when we went to that screen porch in Atlantic City and we had all that mm, damn good that's Italian. A, that's a gatekeep. That's mm. a gatekeep. Oh yeah, that was it. that was mm-hmm. man. That was delicious. Okay. What and I'd our, like to our say waiter is, was like some Jersey dude, like some. I'm sad Jersey that we bro. didn't go back to Atlantic right. City. By the way, we'll go next year. Okay. Now I have to go. There's a block party and there's a raffle and I need to be there. In 15 minutes or i might lose okay. my fucking thing what is your raffle for like what do you win a massage what's the prize massage some discounts at some places i wish i could think of a joke but i i can't so i'll just you're just you. being real this is kind yeah. of a real episode we were being really real this episode yeah and people like that don't they <laughs> people like that yeah all right. Well, well, should we say we, kind of, should we break it down joy-wise? So, yeah, this podcast is called Joy Tactics, obviously. In every episode, we <laughs> like to say what gave us joy in seri- all seriousness. Oh, someone posted on the subreddit that there's a new podcast that's about what gave you joy. I'm not What the kidding fuck are you ass. talking about? Yeah, yeah. Dude, chill, chill, chill. No, because <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like other people giving people... I'm well, serious. I'm serious. I feel like Deadly. our legal team is working overtime Whoa! as it is, and they just can't. I I just don't want to stress out our uh, fucking legal I team fucking more with than than they already are. This is ridiculous, dude. Who like, is they're, this? They're so... NPR. Oh, you don't. Bro, oh. NPR, hang it, hang it up. Don't let me find out what your headquarters are, NPR. I just learned that NPR is. Uh, maybe uh, uh, the CEO is a CIA asset. Of course they are, sure. bro. No. What do you think NPR stands uh, for? Interesting. Nancy mm-hmm. Pelosi CIA Radio. Taking over. <laughs> <laughs> Google it. <laughs> Damn, Nancy Pelosi. I'd listen to. Ooh, I'd listen to that. Oops. I'd look. I'd watch it. Sheesh. Nancy, Nancy Pelosi. Nancy Pelosi Radio. No, but let's put in that time. in the back of our minds and look. Let's okay. look forward. And actually, actually, let's look back what gave us joy <laughs> this week let's okay. take this week and look back well, at it 
I will uh, start off by saying I went on a, I think this was whatever, this week, went on a hike with, with Eric and our friend Max. Yep. And um, as you know, my back is all fucked up. And uh, and uh, and I, I was kind of nervous about it and hadn't gone at, at this pace before. And we got up to the top, got down to the bottom, no, no issues. No pain. It's giving me confidence to do more physical activities with my back. Um, so that's what gave me joy. It's basically the hope of the future. Wow, man. Yeah. That is amazing. It was, and that was, a, and Nate was moving at a rapid pace. <laughs> if you could have seen him, it would have like we've been watching a, a damn blur moving across <laughs> that mountain. I watched a documentary. Oh. Oops, sound familiar? I watched another documentary this week called Trekkies, and maybe many people have seen this, but it's it was like 1997, and it's just. They just don't make people like they made back then. You know what I mean? Because then I watched a, a follow-up that was like 2011, and the magic is somehow gone from watching. Like, the convention is so much less fun than it looked in 1997. I don't know if that's because they used a film camera or if it's because people pre-internet age were so much more unique, you know? There's no internet. Well, this is... Th- there's this no internet like, connecting these people, so they had to find it. To find another yeah. Star Trek fan in the wild is like, thank fucking God we got right, each other. Right. And let's have a crazy convention and F and S each other all weekend in crazy fucking uh, Ferengi outfits. You know? Mm-hmm. So, I, but it, it just was, if you, if it's on Amazon, if you have a chance, it's Shout really out to funny and really sweet. Yeah, that's what I like this week. Trekkie beautiful jack well well this is yeah well yeah all right so yesterday i went to the inside organizer school this is a school for people who want to learn how to organize their workplace in a union fashion and i saw my parents there did a little session in manhattan and a lot of people were there from different unions, people from Barnes and Noble telling crazy stories about getting their union started and the crazy British getting the crazy British CEO who was coming in and thinking he could uh kind of tell a sob story and get them not to do it. REI, people from there, very cool. And it was fun to eat pizza in a room. With a bunch of people Yum. and talk about things and life and learn some cool information. Um, I recommend Googling that if you're interested in shaking things up. Of course. Wow. And I saw Challengers. That Beautiful. shit was crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll talk about it on the bonus episode. Oh, yeah. I'm that's, gonna well, that's going to be the let you know my, conversation about my, Challengers. Uh, oh. Thoughts on that. Um, well, everybody, I, I mean, let us know what you're playing right now, video game wise. And if there's any video game developers out there, I'll just say this right now. We didn't talk about it, but we have some ideas. Okay. <laughs> and it, uh, especially me, I have ideas. So if you want to just come to me directly, <laughs> you don't got to worry about Jack or Nate. <laughs> what? All right, guys. Fuck, it's been what, an amazing what? time talking to you again. I love you guys. I miss you. Nate, I saw your ass last night. Probably see you tonight. Jack, I see you Monday, dude. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, get our, get get ready for an, an in person. Oh shit! Late so, night in person. Right. Remember to bring pizza your mukbang. Mic, pizza mukbang. Oh my god. Oh. 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 Yeah. Cherry tomato I want, I want pizza, pizza yep. mukbang. Yep. All right. Yep. All right. All right. Peace out, guys. Peace out, everybody. Joy tactics. Joy tactics. Well, that concludes another incredible fucking episode of Joy Tactics. Head over to patreon.com slash joy tactics to unlock exclusive weekly bonus episodes. And make sure to follow us on social media where we post fire TikToks and hilarious shit like that. And if you loved the shit you just listened to make sure to subscribe, rate, and leave us a review. 
Thanks for listening and remember. We are shaped by our thoughts, we become what we think. When the mind is pure, joy follows like a shadow that never leaves.